we get our wig in the mail and it's not what we thought it was going to look like because it doesn't look like the model or the picture we saw or the video we saw. You know what? They worked with it. They made it their own. So what I want to show today are several ways of how to make this wig be more of a style that is you because of your face shape or because of your skin color or because of a style that it feels good to you. It feels like you. Also, maybe what the color is. So, you know, ladies, I have silver hair. Like in this picture, you know I have silver hair and wear silver wigs, also different color wigs. But I have to make a brunette wig work. With my silver hair, I wear a lot of cools, blacks, pinks, reds, colors that are very cool. And I also like to wear warmer tones. I want to wear that beige. I want to wear brown and because this is what I was born with. To do that, and I'll show you a tip at the end of the video, if you'll stay to the end, of how I blend my silver hair in the front of my face. So you're gonna see no silver coming out, but it looks like hair growing white out of the side. It is my hair growing white out of the side of my head. When I get this out of the box, it's just in my face. I can't do that. I can't do it in my face. And this was like looks really thin. This is wig is Belle Tress Cafe Chic in brown sugar sweet cream. And it's kind of choppy and edgy. When you first get it out, it just looks kind of, um, it can look stringing. And I don't like that and I don't like it just hanging in my face. So the thing you want to do, spray it with water if you want to. But really get in there, work it around, get my fingernails in it, and then I begin to pull it back away from my face. And if you are a person that really wants low density because you're not used to a lot of hair, look at this wig with the heat of my hand and pressing down. See how sleek I can get that, how thin that, that hair looks? So if you're wanting a really chicy low density look at that how i can really get the density down now i'm going to show you all the different looks you can get and what some of the things i do to make it more of me and i have already been training this one back so i like to have that lift right here in the front this i want to elevate it the first time i put it on i really didn't have any makeup on and my husband called me on the phone and saw it and he's like, mm, no. Mm. But after I played with it, next time he saw me, I had on makeup and he's like, okay, all right, that, that works. Well, he didn't say it that high. He's like, okay. <laughs> I know, I'm being silly. What I like to do when I first get a wig, one of the things I like to do to make it my own, and when it has this little seam right here, see how you can see that seam? Because this is uh, lace is from temple to temple. You really have to pull down a little bit of the hairs. See that little highlighted piece? Is you want to make sure that you have that down to hide that seam. But the other thing I like to do is, this is wig wax. I have it linked down below. I spray it there. You can clip it back. You're going to get so many tips today. And then just press it. I like to use my finger to press it there. But what I'm trying to do is I want those hairs to kind of go up and over, up and over. Same thing over here where that seam is to the lace. I want to leave a little bit down. And then again, I'm going to just lift it and I want to press it so that when it dries, I'm going to have that little lift right here to bump it up. I would say that majority of the wigs come and it is it's a lot of times designed that you're going to you're going to shape that wig to fit your style what you like. So don't be afraid to get in there and make that wig you. Not me Mel B, but you. You want to go by does it look good in your face? Do you look better with bangs? Do you want it swooped? So many different ideas of what you can do. It's a lot of the things I like to do is also push it behind my ear because when I do that, I feel like it just gives it a different vibe. 
I think it looks more real because in real life, if you're sitting there and a lot of times you're working, reading, or talking on the phone, this is a tend this is kind of an action I think a lot of women have is pushing their hair behind their ear. I don't know why, but we just do that. I like these little clippies like this, and you can pull to even do it more. And then that hair can fall over a little bit, and it just gives it that little bit of I don't look like a wig. I look like real hair. And so that's what we're going for. Something that says that's real hair and you took the time to style your hair. Great thing about wigs is I don't have to be a perfect stylist to have good hair every day. I love wigs. It has a left lace part. I have between here and here that I can part it. So you want to find where it's going to look like the most natural part. You want to have some scalp showing. You want it to look like real scalp. So find a part that's going to give you the most natural looking scalp. And it doesn't have to be perfect because who really parts their hair perfectly? That gives it a whole different look. And see how I can really then get the volume down over here. Because I, ladies, I hear you. There's so many ladies that say, Mel, I just can't stand that much volume and I get it the first time I started wearing wig I didn't like volume it grows on you it really does and if you want to then you can sleek this down I'm just going to use my hand and push and push for a really sleek look but if you don't want that sleek look then what we want to do is really fluff it up so maybe then and with when it has the wig wax in it look how easy that was to give it a whole new vibe so this is my really this is much more of a sassy look spray some of this wig spray in it look at how flirty and fun because who doesn't like to be flirty and fun sometimes if you'll just take a look at your wig and think about the potential just like your own hair all your life growing up you were trying out different styles different lengths and now what I think when I do it like that see how the bump is still there see how it gives it now more of a bob look more of an angled cut and then this can still stay flat down like that down on the side here because see there's all of these layers in it and you just wouldn't know that if you just let it out of the box stay flat i'm not real sure how it's going to look in the back right this second but see that see the angle cut give it such a fun little layer cut so just like that you have a whole new wig and it has a whole new potential and it did not look like this coming out of the box i suggest when you buy a wig think about the potential think about is it something i can play with because you're going to style it just like your own hair. These heat-friendly wigs, you can curl them, you can flatten them, you can make them whatever you want it to be that fits you. Try that, you know, think about looking at it that way. Think about when you're putting on a wig, what color makeup you're wearing. Because you know I'm usually in silver, a lot of times I'm in silver wigs, right ladies? Or my bio hair. And so I really have to wear my, I try to wear my makeup to go with that cool, cool white silver tone. And so what I do is, is you'll see me in much, a lot of times brighter pink or pinky lips or red lips. But when I put this wig on, I automatically decided to put on peach. It's more of a peachy blush. It's a more yellow t undertone of makeup and the lips are much more in a just a, a peachy gloss so I line it with a pencil that's close to just my natural I tr try to go with the pencil that's your natural lip color and then go over it today I wanted something that's more peachy to go with the look and the warmer tones of this wig so look at that now girls I have volume for all you volume loving ladies out there and you've seen the sleek and the low density and this wig doesn't even feel like I have a wig on it's so it's so low density it's incredible I am going to go ahead and I am going to go grab a curling iron and it's one that's with warm air and then I'm going to show you what I do to change up and give it even a whole nother look this is a heat friendly curling tool 
and it's going to be able to work with a wig because it's plastic and there's no metal touching your hair. So it's really nice and not giving, putting any damage to it. So the heat friendly, you know, you can add curls, take them out. So it's going to be loud. I'm not going to talk during this time. I'll just show you what I'm, what I'm, what I'm going to do. And I think I've shown you three, four different ways to wear it off your face like that. So you can put them both behind your ears. This is wig wax. It's like wig spray. It's like, but it's not hairspray because ha hairspray with alcohol in it can damage your wig. So don't do that. So this makes this wig, if I wanted to look my hair to look a lot shorter then see how you can pull it back like that. Maybe put in some clips right here. And just like that. I think this is a very smart go to work, go to school. Maybe it's coffee or lunch with the ladies. Maybe it's parents' night. You can throw on a wig and go. Take it down. That wig wax is so good when you want to put in these spiky pieces like that and get some volume and some oomph and look va va voom. So, what's your wig vibe today? Straight, casual, sleek, and sexy, or va va voom volume? It's a great wig. Think about wigs become who you are and that they don't make you, but you can make the wig. I love this community of ladies and I love being able to share my, my love of wigs with you. The tip is coming up next where I show you how to make your silver hair brunette to blend in with your brunette wig.